Hey guys, you've wandered back into Schrodeman's shop for some reason, <laughs> but I'm glad you did. You should uh, watch for flying chunks, not so much of wood, but more likely of me, as these devices here in the shop continue to try to kill me. So today we have a piece of ambrosia maple. Hang on, I'll zoom you back in some. Look how cute and little. But it is a very nice piece of wood. There's some beautiful color in it. Ambrosia maple, I don't know how to dis describe it to you except that it has these streaks in it I'm not sure what it is if it's uh, mineral stain or bug guts I don't know there's part of a hole through here and uh, one of the pieces I cut off when I, I was, had this on the bandsaw had a bug hole straight through it. Looked more like a little drill hole. It was arrow straight. But we're just going to make. I got. I got the craft show coming up this weekend. So I'm just going to try and knock off a couple more small bowls. You know, something you could throw your car keys or something in when you get home. So or your change out of your pocket. I mean, you can't throw your pennies in it because, well, here in Canada, we don't use pennies anymore. Just give my face shield a quick air blast so I can possibly see what I'm doing and avoid flying chunks. That's better. I think that's going to make some nice structure in there. Still a little splat spot right there. I can feel it. Yeah. Let's go after that little bit yet. Well, we don't have to. Now, this is going to be the bottom. And, uh, We'll have to uh, make some shape to it, or what about round? I don't know. We'll true up the bottom a little bit.
Okay, we're going to try and do some of the bottom here with me working on it. We managed to get a little lump in the center. I guess from me sanding on the bottom, the part that was accessible. So I think we can take that off of there fairly easy. I'm hoping that this <clears throat> set up in the cold jaws here. Um, one way calls them uh, mega jaws or something like that. Maxi jaws, I don't know. Hopefully it will try to kill me only once. And come up just short. So I can return to you, my loyal fans. Let's turn. Okay, I'll just give you a quick peek at this. I can think you can see the beautiful coloration in it. This one looks like a egg or something, I don't know. And this one's a big smiley face. But uh, all these are just um, colors in the maple and like I said before I have no idea how they get in there but here where is it right there is a big giant bug hole now I've taken some care to make sure no live critter is in there so Let's go ahead and put some finish on this guy. And uh, we'll give you a peek at it after that. Um, this is not going to be a food safe finish. I'm thinking more like Zinser seal coat. And after that we can do whatever we want because uh, the shellac will, will take anything over top of it. So. We'll get you back. Well, this little peach just turned out sweet. Whoop. Too much glare off of that daggone finish. But, we'll do what we can to get you a look at it. And, uh, like I said, this uh, little piece of maple is known as ambrosia maple. And it, uh, well, it's, it's the only piece of it I had. And otherwise, I would have made it bigger, and I might have made another one. I'd make its brother or sister or something. Right there, oh, sorry, is bug hole. <laughs> so, I uh, gave this a quick turn. It's for a craft sale. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. And so is the uh, technical advisor. But uh, I was just started turning and all of a sudden I had this shape come to mind. 
and uh, it's kind of, it's uh, somewhat angular, I guess, but it still looks pretty good, and and I'm happy I spent uh, some time working with it. Um, I guess that's about all I can tell you about it. I can tell you thanks for watching. And uh, I'm glad you were back at Schroedman's shop. Uh, please like and subscribe and share. And uh, please leave a comment. I, I'd like to know what you uh, are thinking. Um, be safe.